Welcome to the analysis of this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support for this channel. Now, today marked the meeting of Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga as Azimio La Umoja, elected member of parliament and also other um, their supporters. One thing that I have realized, and I said it uh, in, a, in another video, that in terms of what we are looking forward to have a strong opposition, I want to tell you, this is going to come to pass. Why am I saying that? Today, when Uhuru was having a meeting and Raila Odinga as Azumiya Lomoja, remember Uhuru Kenyatta was selected as the chairperson of Azimio Lomoja. And as they endorsed Raila Odinga and Martha Karwa when it comes to the presidential election. One thing that I have realized today after the meeting of Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga as Azimio Lomoja, Uhuru Kenyatta has promised that no one should panic when it comes to handing over power to William Samaruto. In fact, he has said it that he's going to do it peacefully, peacefully. And that is what he has promised in terms of what he believes in. So for me, when I was looking at that scenario, Uhuru Kenyatta has come out very elaborate again, saying though he's going to hand over according to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, he doesn't have anything to do but to follow the constitution. But he has said this, that Raila Odinga is still going to remain his leader. What does this signify? It means that Uhuru Raila plans towards Azimil Omoja is beyond 2027. And this is something that I have suggested, that it is likely for Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, and other brigades to come up with something that is going also to give William Ruto a panic when it comes to the elections of 2027. I've listened to several people saying that the election of 2027 is deal and done, that no one is going to compete with William Ruto. But do you believe that in 2007, who could have reject, uh, who could have uprooted the leadership of Moi in the government? No one could have even believed that the uh, 2002 plan of Raila Odinga and other brigades, they could defeat Gideon Mo Daniel Moi. And this is a scenario that might come, ladies and gentlemen. You might take it to the bank if you like it. You can uh, reserve this for future reference. That list, listen. What Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga are planning? Yes, the court has, do, uh, uh, has done already whatever it is required of them. But now, whatever is required for Azimio Moja is starting and is not going to be easy at all in terms of what we believe as a scenario of uh, 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 selecting leadership in a national uh, assembly. And so now, I said it yesterday. William Samaruto's Kenya Kwanza lands will still remain on the side of my minority. Azimio Lomoja will stay on the side of majority. Why? Because legally, as per the registrar of the political party, in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, the team that was elected inside of Azimio, when it comes to their affiliates parties in Azimio, and also affiliates party in Kenya Kwanza Alliance, they are not accepted to remove their membership in Azimio Lomoja or Kenya Kwanza Alliance because it is required that after elections, after elections, yes, you must at least stay for three months, then you can decamp or you can move what you can move wherever you want. But as far as we are concerned, William Samuto has come out to poach leaders from Azimio Lomoja with an aim knowing that when he has the government, he must ensure that he has a good number of people and member of parliament that are going to assist him in working in the National Assembly. Number two, 
One thing that William Samruto must accept, there are several privileges of National Assembly and uh, the, that he might not actually uh, get it because the Azimio Moja is strong, the Azimio Moja is having majority. Now, there is a lineup that has come out after the meeting of Uhuru Kenyatta and Railo Dinga's meeting. Now, the Peter uh, uh, Kenneth Marende is going to face off Moses Wetangula in National Assembly. That is what and the scenario that they are looking for. Then when it comes to a Senate, Kalonzo Msioka have already applied. Kalonzo Msioka have applied the way you can see. This is a guarantee that Kalonzo Msioka is sure of that is going to take this seat of Senate. If likewise is going to happen. Because... There was a suggestion on the other side of Kenya Kwanza lands that Amazon Kingi is the one that is going to be uh, put in front line when it comes to the seat to be taken to Kenya Kwanza. Then I want to ask a simple question. You know some people celebrated, yes, William Samoruto is going to be sworn in. But the question that you must ask yourself, is William Samoruto is going to work smoothly? Not really. Not really. Because... What entails, uh, in terms of you, the way you look their houses, is very, very intellectual. Why am I saying that? Because in the, in the, in the, perspective, in the perspective way, when you look at the, the scenario that is going to happen after William Samoto being sworn in as the president, then I think the, 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 the National Assembly is going to uh, resume on 8th on Thursday. On 8th Thursday, uh, 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 October, yeah, Thursday, October, I can confirm, can I confirm, it is, mm -hmm. I want to confirm, calendar is here, cool. oh, let me confirm, it will be, no, 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 this laptop is, laptop is showing other things, but it is 8th Thursday, October, that Uhuru Kenyatta has gazetted, that member of parliament will start their sessions and the main business there will be by starting to um, vote for national speaker of the national assembly um, mm. then in terms also to leadership when it comes to uh, governing council i think this is who is likely to start with the governing council it is as new as a meal are popular. But you know there was a rule and in the constitution that everyone, it will be it will be circulating. They decide to take it, they decide to take it, they decide to take it, they decide to take it. And that is what and the scenario was happening in the, uh, in the government of Uhuru Kenyatta. But now when it comes to the popularity of governors, as Miro Moja having good number of governors, that is 26, 26. Uh, out of I think 21, 21. One is independent, that is for Meru, if I'm not wrong, Meru County, Mwangaza, yeah. He is the, the, the governor of Meru County. So it means that elected governors of Kenya Kwanza are 20. Elected governors of Azimio are 26. Independent governor of Meru Mwangaza, that is one. So it's showing that scenario that Azimio also uh, did it uh, exemplarily uh, well. Now, one thing that you must realize when it comes to the government of William Muruto, things are not going to be smooth. Why? Because I said, uh, I said it in a, another video that though William Samaruto and their brigades are celebrating, they're going to face it off. They're going to face it very tough. It is not easy because Azimio Romoja is very strong. It's, though, no matter, no matter what they have, people are saying that William Ruto is poaching, yes. No matter what he has poached uh, when it comes to independent uh, national uh, member of parliament that has been elected, uh, independent, and those who are elected in UDM, and some, Kamket, I don't know Kamket was elected with which political party, and this uh, uh, Ugenya member of parliament, David Uchien, but one thing that I have understood, it is likely some member of parliament to be swayed back to Azimir Omoja. Mark my words. The scenario that is going to happen is not very easy. It is likely some member of parliament, people like David Uchien, 
of Ugenya constituency to be swayed back. Mark my words. I'm not talking something that I don't know. Because one thing that David Ocheng must do understand is that to restore or to come back in as a meal, to do the work and also to support whatever is going to happen in the house is going to give him also a guarantee when it comes to the leadership of Nyanza. Or else, if he continues like that, then he must ask the situation and the scenario that had happened with the Rafael Tuju. You remember one that there was one time that Rafael Tuju came against Rail Odinga, and this was hectic about his life till date. Rafael Tuju cannot even vie for an assistant chief in Nyanza region. The truth is there. So according to me, David Ocheng might come back. And this being swayed uh, again is because of that what they call the want numbers in National Assembly and some in uh, Senate and governing councils, group of governing councils, and those are the scenario that is going to happen. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, Uru Kenyatta is not playing Raila Odinga. And if he could have been playing Raila Odinga, then he could have not continued to meet Raila Odinga's leadership award or those things because he has confirmed that he's going to continue to be part and the leadership of Azimio. That his leader is Raila Odinga. He doesn't recognize William Samaruto. That is as per what I have seen the way you can see. So ladies and gentlemen, what then we continue? This is the scenario that is going to happen. And so... Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? You can drop your opinion at the comment section below. You can give your opinion, reasons upon the way you can see how this government is going to be run. Otherwise, thank you so much. God bless you. If you're a visitor, please do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.